the Ginyu Force guys. All right, everybody, what is going on? We got these guys. Listen, I already love them. I, I rainbowed this unit in, how many stones was it? Uh, we rainbowed them in, like, legitimately 500 stones or less, so I already love them. I already love the Ginyu Force here, and uh, they are going to be spectacular. Now, here's the issue. Uh, they're meant to be run on Topo's special uh, fighting pose. What is it? Special pose? Special pose team. Uh, and we do not have that currently. So we're on the Ginyu Force team. We're in the Divine Wrath and Mortal Will event. Um, we can go ahead right here. We're going to be able to get all seven links activated. Um, I don't think AGL Ginyu in the first slot here will KO. Now, you may be wondering why, why we're in this event. And one, I just like to use this one for showcases. Two, the cord's gone. And three, um, this is the only place where I could find a Ginyu friend. So, this is the, uh, the stage that we're doing. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. We'll grab some orbs right here. Now, the Ginyu Force, they do get some... They have, like, different uh, super attacks based on how much key you can get. Now, we're forced into the 18 key on this team basically because we have so much support and so many links activated and everything like that uh but i mean we've got them already up to level 10 links here we got gentleman active respect uh the signature pose link we've got the ginyu force we've got my phone at five percent battery that's pretty good uh loyalty and fierce battle legendary power of course so uh let's go ahead we'll get this uh, attack stat from them at 20 key and then we will uh i'll go charge my phone and then we'll be right back for the next rotation with them but uh, hopefully Ginyu doesn't KO right here. We should be fine. I, I, I'm at a total of 5% battery. Um, I forgot to charge my phone while I was grinding the uh, uh, metals up here a second ago. So I, I will go charge my phone real quick and then we will be right back. Let's see what we get up here to though. Those are words. 12.94 million. Nice. We are on a full 200% leader skill because we are on the double Ginyu team. Uh, currently that, well, I guess we do have Frieza's leader skill. But the issue is that Ginyu really wants to be on a full special pose team. Uh, and so that's that's what we got going on right here. Boom. There we go. Uh, looks pretty good to me. We will be right back and talk about them a little bit more. All right. So we're going to take a little bit of an intermission here while my phone is charging. We're just going to do a mid-video breakdown. So I normally save this for either the beginning or the end. We're going to do it right here. So if you're not interested, skip forward. But for anybody who is interested, we're going to go over it. It'll also give me a chance to review their kit, and we'll talk about it right here. So... Um, we've got the unprecedented elite team, Captain Ginyu of the Ginyu Force. So there he is. You know, very nice. It's the full team there. We love that. We love that. Um, leader skill doesn't really matter, but it is the Ginyu Force or special pose. Key for 150%. Um, the super attack effects, I'm actually going to switch over to this wiki right here. This is the T6 wiki. Um, just because it does actually show like 12 key versus 8 or 15 key versus 18 key here. Um, so... On their 12 key super attack effect, you get the attack order deciding rock, paper, scissors right here. Greatly raises defense for one turn. So this is always on their 12 key. Uh, so anytime you get an additional super attack, this is the effect that we're getting. So whenever we got Goldo right there, um, this is the uh, the super attack that we got. So greatly raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and stuns the enemy. That's a guaranteed stun. Um, you have a 50% chance of getting Raccoon, I believe. And if you get Raccoon, uh, you get a 50% chance of, you know, the transforming attack, which is the Raccoon's super attack animation. Attack being greatly raised for one turn, um, which I believe is a... Does it tell me right here? Uh, I think it becomes like a... 50% attack raise, I believe, is uh, what happens. So, yeah, we get greatly raised defense, but if you get Raccoon, you also get a 50% attack raise for one turn, so you're just going to hit harder uh, than if you just get Goldo. But either way, you're still going to get this 50% defense no matter which one that you get. Uh, and then, yeah, that's that's what that does. So this this is the 12 key right here. Uh, and again, this is the Goldo one, and then you have a 50% chance of Raccoon appearing and winning the uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors. And then if you get him, you'll do more damage. But either way, you're going to get this guaranteed stun, which is super awesome. Uh, that 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 is obviously very very good. Um, then right here, this this is actually a 15 key super attack. You can see right here, super attack 15 key, um, and that's this one. So you're going to greatly stack attack by 50. percent So that's going to be if Birder shows up, you get this attack raise, um, and then you have a 50 percent chance of Jace showing up. And if Jace shows up, then you get a 50. Then you get a uh, defense stack. You get a 50% defense stack for the rest of battle. So, um, obviously, you want Raccoon to show show up here, and you want Jace to show up here. Uh, if you just get Birder, you're not you're not doing hot. I believe. I believe is what it is. I believe it's you want um, 
Raccoon and Jace. Those are the two that you want to show up, I believe. Uh, but if you get Goldo, it's not a big deal. Like, Goldo is just the defense raise. So, Raccoon is just damage. It doesn't really matter if you get Raccoon. But obviously, if you get Raccoon, it's the better effect. Uh, I believe if you get Jace, it's the better effect for this one. Uh, then you have the 18 key super attack, of course, just the ultra super attack. Uh, massively raises attack and defense for one turn. Obviously, that is very good. It's 100% uh, attack and defense raise. And then you raise all allies attack and defense, self excluded uh, by 30% for one turn. So uh, this is solid. You know, this unit is pretty good in slot one most of the time. Uh, and either way, they're going to be good in slot two. So you're going to be giving a nice buff to either the units in slot two or three, or just the unit in slot three. Either way, this is a nice buff that you're giving them. Uh, this pairs really well with like go tanks, for example. So. The uh, Super Saiyan 3, super easy Ego tanks, I mean. Uh, but yeah, definitely just more support is really good. As we move into their passive skill, you're going to notice that this unit is really just a support unit at heart. That's what they are. Um, so activates entrance animation once only. They get three key and 150%, and they launch an additional super attack for the rest of battle. And all allies attacking defense plus 25%, self-excluded, for three turns from the character's entry turn when there are five or more special pose category allies on the team. So that's where you need... Um, they're they're meant to be run on a full special pose team obviously you want these stats in this additional super that's going to be really good for you um and then just this support for three turns is going to be really 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 good especially on a team like the guinea force team where they are you know a little bit weaker at the start of turn so that's that's going to be really good um Key plus two and 150% attack and defense uh, at the start of turn, just permanently. Guards all attacks and attacks effective against all types when all allies attacking in the same turn are special pose category allies. So that is obviously very, very good. And another reason that they're telling you run this character on the special pose team. They, they are, you know, demanding that you do that. They get 7% damage reduction up to 35% before attacking and chance performing a critical hit plus 7% up to 35% when attacking per special pose category ally on the team. Again, Again, you want to be on a full special pose team. Um, you, you do have a little bit of wiggle room. Like if you notice, it's like five or more. Uh, seven times five is 35. So it's like you have a little bit of wiggle room, but they're telling you get on the special pose team. Um, special pose category allies attacking defense plus 25% self excluded for two turns with an int or rainbow key sphere obtained. Uh, so that's really you want to you want to definitely go for an int or rainbow key sphere and then additional 50% attacking defense within the same turn with a type key sphere obtained and excluded. So really what you want is like one rainbow and one of any other typing is what you want to go for um, because that will pair with this and this together as long you know you also have this support up so they Guys, they're given special pose like 100% support if you get a type orb and a rainbow orb. Um, obviously, they have the, uh, I was going to go into their link set next, not the active skill, but their link set is a Ginyu Force link set right here. That's what is obvious about this. Uh, pretty much all Ginyu Force characters have, the, or like Ginyu characters specifically have this link set, and then Ginyu Force characters have a very similar one. These are their categories, and then we can't go anywhere without mentioning the active skill. Very, very, very powerful. They get a permanent 25% attack and defense, and then all allies get a permanent 15% attack and defense, which is insane. I mean, that's just a permanent multiplicative buff for the entire team and themselves, so obviously this is very good. Uh, can be activated when all allies are Ginyu Force categories starting from the third turn, or all allies are special posts starting from the fifth turn, so a very, very easy condition considering the team that you want to run them on. So very clearly, this is meant to be like your fifth or sixth option on the special post team that helps really bring it all in together and makes it cohesive. That's Ginyu's role, that's his job. Let's go ahead and get back into the showcase and, you know, get this active skill rolling um and just see what this guy can do so uh awesome unit fantastic unit i don't mind that they lock them to one team so long as they are insane on that team and they really are they are awesome on the ginyu force team you know they're gonna have solid start of turn defense they're gonna have 35 percent damage reduction guard it's not gonna be enough defense i think to tank like the biggest bosses super attacks if they were to get supered immediately but overall they're gonna have a very solid defensive kit that is going to make them a great unit right now on the special post team. So let's get back into the showcase and uh, show some more of them. All right, so we are back on rotation with Ginyu. I hope you guys didn't mind the interlude there. If you are skipping to this point, then I completely understand. You know, the Ginyu Force team has been out for a while on JP already, so 
Um, you know, probably some people already know how they work. They didn't need the refresher, but here we go. Ginyu is at 442k defense right here. It's actually probably easier if I show it from this screen. 442, 653. So remember that this active skill buff right here is going to give us a flat 25% to that. So if we are at... Uh, 442, 653, you multiply by 1.25, and uh, they're going to go up to 553k defense right here, baseline. And then Ginyu, uh, like for example, we have this AGL Ginyu right here. I mean, he's at 327k defense right here, 3, 327, 463. He's going to get 15% um, defense from the active skill buff. And so he'll go up to 376, 582 after we use the active skill here. So let's go ahead and play this and uh, get everybody's, you know, permanent stats for the rest of battle here. Sweet. All right, so here we go. Boom. You see the, uh, there's the active skill hitting everybody right there. And so if I'm right, we should be at 376k with Ginyu right here. Boom, there we go. 376, 582. I can actually show you guys. That's exactly what I calculated right there. You can see 327, 463 times 1.15, 376, 582. Boom. Look at that. I can do math sometimes, guys. Uh, so obviously, that's going to help our start of turn defense right here. And then we can also do this, put Ginyu Force in slot one, because they are going to be the best defensive option for slot one right here. And um, they're going to give an attack buff to the... or uh, What is it? Attack and defense buff? They give the 30% uh, attack and defense buff to the entire rotation whenever they uh, get their 18 key, which we are going to get right here. Um, also, Ginyu's links went up a little bit right here because we did get, what is it, Frieza's army? We got Frieza's army activated with, uh, with these guys right here, so that, that definitely did help their, uh, their defense a little bit there. Ginyu, or LR Ginyu has legendary power instead of Frieza's army, so... Uh, that's why this guy's defense shot up again to 470 as we got that link activated. So uh, let's go ahead. Oh, let's switch over to make sure we're attacking Zamasu here. And then grab those orbs and let's see how we do. So obviously we're going to be hitting a lot harder now. Um, we still have our guaranteed additional for the rest of battle uh, because we got our intro buff activated. Um, we have our 35% damage reduction. We're up to 16 million. We did get, uh, oh, well, no, this one doesn't, this is everybody. We'll see what we get for our additional, if we get Raccoon or if we get Goldo again. Let's see. And we got Raccoon, or Goldo, Goldo, Goldo. If you saw, he did uh, Scissors. Uh, Raccoon did Paper, and then Goldo did uh, did Scissors. That's why he won. Now, if you are wondering what I did for my Ginyu Force build, you probably aren't going to be surprised if you've been around for a while. I looked at Ginyu's kit, and I said, okay, he's got a built-in guaranteed additional. He's got built-in, like, 35% crit chance. Uh, you know what he doesn't have is, uh, you know, the ability to dodge. So I gave him full dodge. And he is an int character, so that kind of made sense. Uh, I could have given him a little bit more additional or crit maybe, but I was just like, you know, at the end of the day, all I really want this Ginyu to do is be a great defensive floating support option. And so uh, in just order to maximize that role, I did give him 31 dodge. I could bump it up a little bit, but I wanted to give him this raw defense um, dodge skill orb right here. Kind of get like the defense numbers up a little bit and get the dodge numbers up. So I could bump this up to 32, um, but I I'm happy with it at 31. I thought about moving it down to like 30 and then moving this up to like four. But I was like, what's the point? You know, like it it's not like really a big deal. So... Um, we're rocking bare minimal additional, bare minimal crit, so we'll pretty much never see this guy triple. Um, but, y you know, maybe I should give him a little bit less dodge and give him a little bit more additional. But he's already got the guaranteed one, he's already got the crit, so I was just like, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. I would rather be comfortable putting him in slot one and him dodging a super attack than, um... You know, have him getting a, a, like an additional that's just not going to do a whole lot for him. So anyway, we'll cut right here. We'll be back. We'll get another rotation. Um, I guess I will go. I don't know how because the thing is, is that I, I guess I could get on Frieza's team, and on Frieza's team we could try to get like the uh, 15 key super attack. I would like to get that in the video maybe at some point, but um, I I think we will do a revisit of this character whenever Topo comes out. Uh, and we'll get to see more footage of them there. I think for here, we're just going to kind of make this a nice juicing session. Get a bunch of really high attack stats and uh, go go with that. Um, but, I mean, he's kind of capped out at this point. Like, we've already seen him kind of in his max scenario, like on this last turn. 
Uh, that was with six out of seven links activated. We have Jason Birder support up. We had the active skill support buff up. Uh, we had Ginyu support because Ginyu does give 30%, I believe, to, uh, G uh, like, AGL Ginyu gives support to uh, Ginyu Force allies. So uh, that was pretty much his max turn we saw last turn. Um, but I maybe I would like to get Raccoon in the video. <laughs> So far, we've gotten Goldo twice. So let's see. Let's see if we can get Raccoon here. So we are not going to link with this unit because this unit has the same name. But again, it doesn't matter. They are still giving support. Uh, we are still getting the support from this Ginyu. And uh, we do still have the same at 6 out of 7 links activated right here. And again, we're at that 519k defense number. That is, uh, you can see that right there. Uh, because we haven't gotten any stacks or anything like that. The only way you can get stacks is the 50% chance on the 15 key super attack. Which is going to be pretty rare. So... Um, you're, you will not see that too often. If we had the opportunity to go for it here on this team, I would, but we're just getting so much from Lynx that we're just not going to get the opportunity to here. Um, you can see Ginyu is stacking up a little bit, and keep in mind that this number is a little bit deceptive because it is going to go up a little bit more after this guy's super attacks as well. Um, but yeah, definitely... This, uh, this LR Ginyu does bring a little bit more relevance to AGL Ginyu now. AGL Ginyu is still going to stack pretty slow, but uh, whenever you have a little bit of extra coverage from this guy, it, it definitely does help. So, there we go. Um, another 15 million attack stat. Do we get Raccoon here? Oh, he won. He got Paper. There we go. Boom. And that's the, uh, that's the attack raise. And then we still get the guaranteed stun. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's this unit. That's pretty much all I need to really show off with them. Uh, again, once they, you know, Topo's team comes out, I can show off more. But, I mean, what we've seen is kind of all there is to them. We already got the active skill. We got the intro. Um, again, they can stack attack and defense if you get the 15 key super. But it's going to be pretty rare that you get that. So, um, we will revisit that whenever Topo's team comes out. But that, that's pretty much it. We went over the breakdown. Uh, we saw them here. And uh, they're, they're, that's it. I mean, that's they're just a solid, good unit for the special post team, which is uh, pretty much exactly what they needed to be. So um, I'm very excited to running Topo's team whenever it does eventually come out on global. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. We're going to make this a short showcase, and I'll catch you guys next time.